Your teacher rub it on your body. Yes. Anyway, come inside. Let me go and drop you out. Okay. Thank you. I was driving home and I saw Johnson dead in the street and decided to go. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. I call you and have something like that after a Thank you. Johnson, where are you coming from looking this dead? It's my close teacher that wrote the door and we went to clean and your class is crying. Your class is out of debt all over your ear, crying. Yes. Serious. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, 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 I'm <laughs> 
I will not be complaining. Please don't me alone. Well, you're taking drugs now. You're supposed to stop. Uh, I'm taking drugs, so please. But that is back. Yes. Again. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. What? My head is pounding so hard. Alright, so I'm telling you. I'll take it to the doctor first and tomorrow. Alright? Okay. So? Chris, okay. how are you? That is mine for now. So, why you stop it? Is she not my daughter? Okay, she's not to hold her. No, 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 no. You're ah, ah, ah. Mr. Beth. Sorry. Oh, mommy. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Can you tell me something? Ah, ah, ah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. When I tell my friends I have the best parents in the world, they think I'm lying. No. <laughs> Just Thank you. We have the best of them. Exactly. The best. Have you seen it? He was alone. Very sad. Are you not pressing that? No, I'm not pressing that. When you come there, anywhere you go to, she'll start shouting. That's so true, honey. 
going to press on the first two bits now. <laughs>
Don't worry. With the medications, you'll be fine. Okay? No. Grace. She is sick. She's sick? Yes. Yeah. Okay, don't worry. Hmm? Uh, sure. I'll, I'm sure she'll be fine. I'll go and see her later, yeah? Mommy, if you're going, I'm going with you. No, you're not going anywhere with me. Oh, yeah? No, I don't go with you. Upstairs, young man, you're not going anywhere with me. Go. Tell him you're going to
Of the scan is back in. It has been sent to your sister. Okay, that's fine. Yes, can you wait for the conference call? Okay. The result is out. Okay. So, how yes. is it? She has a bit small. How? Uh, doctor, please. What do you mean by a brain tumor? It is a collection of abnormal cells in the brain, which can be cancerous. So, what do we do? Doctor, what are we going to do? We can handle that. We have. All the equipment to handle that, but we do not have a specialist here. So we have to invite a specialist. When we get a consultant, everything will be fine. Okay, how soon? As soon as the bills are settled. Doctor, you don't understand. Nini is not a problem. At all. I just consult the consultant, that's it. That's we need to pay anything. Immediately. No problem. You see my accountant. They will discuss with me. Something terrible will happen to her. Okay. Pure heart is going to be fine. Go on. Go on, please protect your heart and save her from the sickness in Jesus' name. Family doctor could not handle the case that if calling um, a specialist. Yes, that's true. Has the consultant seen her? Um, no, but the doctor prescribed some drugs for her, and um, we are waiting for the consultant to see her. Welcome. Don't worry. Just be fervent in prayers. She will be fine. She will be okay by God's grace. Amen. Amen. She's already healed. Amen. You, how are you? Have you been coping? I'm fine, person now. I'm okay. Well, it's well. I am very glad you could make it within a very short notice. <laughs> and I'm happy to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You know, it's always my pleasure to work with you. <laughs> <laughs>
Pure heart, how are you? I'm fine, doctor. Good. Um, about your headache, when did it start? About six to ten months ago. Hmm. How do you normally feel in the mornings? It's always really bad in the mornings. I feel like I have pressure on my head. It must feel like laughing, sneezing or crying it makes the pressure real worse. Hmm. Okay, um, have you seen any other doctor before now? Yes, you are the third. The third? Okay. So, are you under any medication presently? Yes, I've been taking painkillers. Hmm. It's alright. Sit down. Okay, 
You see, brain tumor is a kind of cancer that is very, very difficult to treat. And uh, the probability of survival for anybody who is affected by that particular cancer is totally low. I just have to be honest with you. So, Doctor, what are we going to do? I mean, what can be done? Can surgery be a way out of this? <coughs> surgery will be very dangerous. And yeah, the reason is the tumor is located near the cerebellum, which is at the left hand side of the brain, at the back side. So it's very dangerous. So, what are the chances of her survival? If, if, if we opt for surgery, what are the chances? I must be honest with you. Chances of survival is very slim. If we carry out the surgery, she might not survive it. And even if she does, she might be paralyzed for life. On the other hand, if we don't do the surgery, the tumor will grow bigger and it will block the fluid flowing through the spinal cord. I'm sorry. How, how can you help us? But I cannot sit down and watch my daughter die. I can't. You just have to do something, please. You see, her case is a very rare right type of tumor that is called medulloblastoma. It's very common in children. And you get her case is very, very serious. It's critical. Doctor, see? Yes. You just have to find a way out. Okay. She's my only daughter. My only child. But I cannot sit here and watch my daughter die. No, it's not possible. I am ready to do everything and anything to make sure that she comes out of this. I am ready to take her anywhere in this world to make sure she's okay. But money is not a problem. I'm ready to pay anything. Anything I'll pay. Just find a way out for me.
No. 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 My baby cannot have cancer. My baby cannot have cancer. Don't. Don't. God did not have cancer. Yes. So therefore, my daughter does not have cancer. She's going to be fine. You have it. You do not have cancer. My daughter does not have cancer. My daughter cannot have cancer. She does not have cancer. My daughter cannot have cancer. God does not have cancer. My daughter cannot have cancer. My daughter cannot have cancer. Jesus! My daughter does not have cancer. We can all
Yes. Johnson, what are you doing here? Who brought you here? I'm talking about Johnson. Uncle, they came with me. I'm coming for me. Johnson. So what got you then? You came to see pure heart. Thank you. Pure heart. Pure heart. Daddy, she won't see me. One of the nurses for me. Mm. Nurse, I want you to keep an eye on my daughter. Okay. I want to go across the road to get something for her. There's no problem. So if my husband comes, I just tell him what I said. Okay. Oh, please don't stay long. No, 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 no. Okay. Thank you. How is she going? She's getting better. Mm -hmm. Shh, be fine. Nurse, yes. please, who is an organ donor? Anyone of any age can be. And why do you ask? Is it possible? Or a living person who has two kidneys to donate them. It's possible. But only when the person's at the date of death. That's one. Don't worry. We'll be fine, okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine for me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I understand that there are some people who need help in this hospital. And you're one of them. Yes, it's true. So, what is your problem? My two kidneys are damaged. And I need replacement for your kidneys. Okay. So, what will happen if you're not replaced? You're going to die. Please, I need 
just tell her that I decided to see her again. Okay, I will do just that. Pure heart, you sent for me. How can I help you? Yes, Doctor. Come in. Doctor, can you keep secrets? Secrets. Okay. I'm, I'm listening. Are you sure you can keep our secrets? Yes, I will. I want to save two lives. How? How? I want to save the boy with the heart failure and the girl with damaged kidneys. I want to donate my heart and kidneys to them. Okay. Um. Okay, um, I'll talk to you later. You think I don't know? You think I don't know you plans to sell my daughter's organs at a very high amount of money? But listen, let me warn you. Your plans will never work. You have failed. Me? Yes, you! Madam, please, who is feeding you with all this? If anything happens to my daughter, then you will say what I'll do to you. Try it! Where is this coming from? Madam, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you just have to take heart. Um, I have carefully reviewed the tests that were carried out on her. Um, unfortunately, she has been diagnosed with acute renal failure. Hey, please, doctor, what is renal failure? Uh, which means that uh, her kidneys are giving up on her. Hey, doctor, this is my only child. Since you said it's kidney, can I donate my own kidney to save my only child? Uh, yes, you can. But we need to carry out the necessary tests to ensure that your kidneys are compatible with her. Perfectly. Doctor, how did it go? Yes. <clears throat> the result of the test indicates that your two kidneys are perfectly okay. <sighs> um, however, they are not much for your daughter. And unfortunately, she has less than two weeks to leave. But, uh, what do you mean by less than two weeks? What I mean is that if we don't do something urgently, she will die. Sandra will not die. Uh, I will donate my two kidneys for her to live. It is not possible. You will donate your kidneys to no one. I can't allow you to be used as a sacrificial lamp to save another woman's child. I can't. But, mommy, she doesn't have much time to live. And so what? She should 
Go, 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 go and look for it elsewhere. Not you, not you, my child. Not you, please. Please. I can't afford to lose you. Please. My daughter will not die. To no one. Okay. Mommy, I'm dying in pain. There is no hope for survival for me. What no benefits will it be if I die with my organs? Every day, according to the statistics, an average of 18 people die. An average of 18 people waiting for transplant die because there are no organs available. Who so, would benefit the to both of you if those innocent kids die? Your blood will be on your head because you blocked their means of possible survival. I've been here in this hospital for months. Long mission in pain. Wasting your time and money on my medical bills. Are you happy seeing me in pain? No. Are you be happy if those innocent kids die? No. He <laughs> <laughs> would die. You will leave and get your organs back. You won't die, my daughter. You can't die. <laughs> you can't die. <laughs> support immediately so that we can keep the blood and water flowing in the organs. Get it quick! Hurry up! Hurry up! So, shall we move on? So you want me to donate my daughter's organs to another woman's children? Is that what you want? Please, please, don't hear me out there. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. Yes. So Doris, look, I, I know I'm not in a position to say this. But the truth is, if, if Pure Heart dies, she dies in vain. Please. The sacrifice she's about to make now will save your life. And think about it. If those children leave, her spirit lives on. Please. Think about it. Um, you see, we don't have time. We don't have time. Let's do something fast. This is no time. Doctor, please. 
Please, you should take this thing. Take it easy. This is another woman that I'm talking about. I'm a mother. I have a son. It's not something you just go in. Let's try the discussion. Please. My mom. No, Doris. I'll plead with you to please agree with your husband's decision. Please. What is the way forward? Look how tired I I was always trying to understand. She is operating. Her soul can be her heart and kidneys to the kids. Do I have a choice? Well then, give it to the kids. Let him complete them and sign. that we will all miss her very dearly. <sighs> she was a special child, a special being. I'm sure she's resting in the presence of the Lord. Please take her. Just take her. All is well. There is no hope there you are going to. There is no hope there you are going to. Mommy is crying. Daddy is ready. Everybody is missing now. I'm a 
must you do this to me? Why must you tell me how to 